what would you do if every time you took damage, the world became scarier? Today, myself and Guido are investigating this mysterious Minecraft world to discover if this is even true. And here we are, Guido. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look where I've just spawned. On top of a huge tree. Yeah, it kind of feels like the world already wants you to take damage. <sighs> Now, technically, I could just mine straight down this tree and we'd be fine. But instead, and in the name of science, we are going to jump straight down to the ground. So let's just navigate like this. And are you ready for this, buddy? As ready as I'll ever be. Let's see what happens. Oh! Come on, no zombies, no ghouls, no monsters? Nothing scary at all? Guido, I'm starting to think that this was just clickbait. Wait, what's that? What's that noise? I think it's behind us. Oh, okay, I'm gonna turn around. Ah! Hey, Steve, why do you look so nervous? Are you kidding me? It's just Austin. Uh, hey, Austin. Sorry about all of that. I just, I've heard this rumor that this Minecraft world will get scarier every time you take damage. That's the whole reason why I jumped off that tree and then you just showed up. So I'm not sure if it's true or not. Do you know anything about this? Well, I haven't heard anything about that. I've just been here collecting honey from that beehive. Wait, the beehive? Oh, yes, this is perfect, Guido. Angry bees, that's what I need to deal more damage to me. Why not just have Austin hit you instead? Well, Austin's my friend. They never hurt me. Hey, Austin, you know what? Stealing from the bees isn't enough. You should really go over there and teach them a lesson. <gasps> You're right. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> yes! Come on, bees, sting me, sting me. This is so weird. No, oh, come on, keep going. Something scary to happen! Uh, Steve, you seem to be enjoying this. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just a hobby, Austin. Come on, what are you waiting for? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you're doing a little too much there. Whoa! I don't want to die, I don't want to die! I said that's enough! There we go! Uh oh my gosh. I'm starting to think it might be true. How could it just suddenly become nighttime? Oh, Guido, I'm stressed. Give me a cake! Nom, 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 nom. Ah, that's better. Wait, was was that always there? Looks like some kind of message. Oh, this has given me the creepies. Wait, Austin, don't. No! Ow! Wait, that's it. Forever linked. It means our health is shared. When I take damage, you take damage. When you take damage, I take damage. My one weakness. Pain! <laughs> no, wait, Austin, come back! It was clear the rumor was true. Every time I or Austin took damage, the world would get scarier. So I had to make sure that they didn't take damage either. Austin, I know that you're scared, but if you just take one bit of damage, oh, jeez, that was a close one, then things are gonna get much scarier. They don't seem convinced. Austin, just calm down. Sorry, Steve. I'm panicking. I'm not as brave as you. No, ah. watch out. Ow. Oh, Austin. <gasps> oh, Guido, it's raining blood now. I don't like this. What, you don't want to get your hair wet? No, Guido, it's terrifying. I know. I'll be safe in that dark cave. Nothing scary ever happens in those. <gasps> no, 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 Austin. There's got to be hostile mobs in there. Guido, quickly, I need a weapon. Let's go defend Austin. <laughs> this isn't good. There's so many mobs. We've got our work cut out for us, Steve. Remember, if Austin takes damage, then so do we. Yeah, and the other way around, too. So we've got to deal with these mobs without taking a single bit of damage. Oh, well, too late. Okay, you know what? This is fine. As long as we don't get hit anymore, we should be okay. Oh, Austin! Stop! Taking! Wait, uh, I think we killed all the mobs. Yay! Now let's go check on Austin. <sighs> Austin, uh, are you okay? I feel funny. Austin, no! Oh my gosh. Oh, that is, that is brutal. Steve, the message has changed. Yes, yeah, someone or something is toying with us. I mean, check this out. The way the blood is splattered. It's leading into that cave. 
It looks like this mystery is getting deeper and deeper. Literally. And now that this force is mocking us, we've got to keep going for Austin. Uh, I just don't know about this, Guido. There haven't been any more arrows, and it seems like the messages have stopped. Maybe we're just going the wrong way. We'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry. There's a mine shaft up ahead. Oh, a mine shaft? That's exactly what I don't want. Mine shaft corners are so tight. A, a spider, a creeper could literally jump out at us from any corner. And I've got the feeling this isn't any ordinary mine shaft. Huh? What do you mean by that? We oh, oh my gosh! Skeleton, skeleton! This is probably the worst mob we could be facing off against right now. I mean, their shots are just so random. We've got a bow of our own, Steve. Just fight back. Yeah, okay. We've just got to wait for the right moment. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Mm. Uh, now things are gonna get even scarier okay yeah everything is getting much more creepy now just look at the rocks so realistic uh steve the skeleton's still there you know oh so he is thanks for waiting dude uh, uh, oh come on come on uh, you've got this steve yeah i really hope so gotcha <laughs> Oh, and there's no signs of any of the mobs, so we can just keep going. That mine shaft wasn't so bad. Wait, that that's a door? I've never seen a door in a mine shaft before. Uh, okay, well, maybe it's just like a glitch or something. This is, okay, that's unusual, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Are you kidding me? Another mine shaft? Oh, I guess the bonus of this one is that there's no skeleton at the end of it, which is fine. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, no, this isn't this isn't a coincidence. This is is this the same mine shaft just over and over again? This is really weird, Guido. We're going around the same mine shaft over and over again. I don't like this. I don't want to be trapped in here forever. Maybe we can just mine up, Guido. Pickaxe mode. Now, let's see. I'll just mine up here. Okay, shouldn't take us too long. I don't think we were that far from the surface. Just get us out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. Okay, maybe we'll do like a little spiral staircase design. So we'll turn into the right and... No. No, 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 no. Shut up, shut up, shut up. This isn't right. This can't be happening. We can't be back in the exact same place. Okay, new strategy. We're just going to mine straight ahead. We're just going to get the heck out of here. I don't care if we end up in another cave or into a ravine or a dungeon or anything. We're just going to get out of here as soon as po Oh my gosh. Fine. You want to play it that way? I'll keep doing your loops. I don't care. You can't scare me. I'm Steve, the brave adventurer. Wait, was this redstone always here? Are we going to have to go back? <sighs> Unfortunately. So we're back in the first version of the mine shaft, and as you can see, there's no redstone on the wall, apart from that tiny bit right there. And if we go ahead and move into the second loop, there's a little more redstone. And if we go into the next loop, there's even more. Is it spelling a message? Yeah, it looks that way. Let's keep going. No, that was a lot of doors. Looks like the redstone is finally finished. Yeah, it looks that way and it says... Oh, are you seeing that? It spells die. This is giving us a little bit of an issue, Guido. I mean, we saw what happened to Austin when the force got mad. What if that same force, the one that was leaving messages for us from the start and is doing so again? What if it's tricking us? What if this is a trap? Then we have two options. We can continue to try escape from this mine shaft and be stuck in this infinite loop, or we can do what the message says. When you put it that way, if we're trapped down here for the rest of our lives, we may as well be dead. So Guido, I think we both know what must be done. Okay, Steve, I'm sorry! <sighs> wait, wait, we're, we're out of the mine shaft! Guido, we did it! Oh my gosh, that was so awesome! Yes! Let me kill you again! No, 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 relax, relax. Okay, listen, the world is still a little messed up. The sky is completely red, and the rivers have been replaced with blood. And the pigs look like this. Thank you. But aside from that, everything is good, I think. Now, come on, let's get back out there. Wait, Guido, are you... 
Are you seeing this? Uh, I think so. Well, it looks like no matter where I go, all the animals in the area are just like following my every move. They're like never facing away. Oh, jeez. No matter how far I go. And the worst part about all this is that with their new looks, they've kind of got really beady, disgusting eyes and... Yeah, I, something tells me that this adventure isn't over just yet. Well, I do have a suggestion. Yeah, I'm I'm listening. Well, the last thing we want is the mobs to go crazy and attack us, so we should keep them out. <sighs> Whew, okay, just kill all the animals in the area. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you, little guy. <laughs> yeah! 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 I'm sorry. Uh, wait, the atmosphere just changed here. Everything, everything is so much more quieter now. Well, we did kill every life form in the area. Yeah, well, I know it's that, but I don't know that it just feels different. Almost eerie. Something tells me that this isn't over just yet. Oh! <gasps> no. In the multiverse? Dude, how is this possible? Everything's just freaking out! I think it was killing those animals! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Wait, that was your stupid idea. Sorry. Uh, Steve, you might want to turn around. Dude, what the heck is going on right now? It looks like the corpses of those animals have just dragged themselves out of the ground. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, it was Steve's idea! Uh, no, stay back! There's too many! I've got this! No! No, I don't got this! I don't got this! <sighs> okay, we just gotta get to higher ground to get away from these guys. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them. No, oh, I think the cows are the strongest. Get away from me! All right, let's just focus on getting to higher ground. We're heading to the top of that hill! Wait, what? Why? You'll see, just trust me! <sighs> okay, Steve, just don't look behind. Just keep focusing on your target. This is my worst nightmare! Don't worry, Guido, we've made it to the top. Now I just need one more thing from you. Guido, paraglider mode! Go, 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 go! Uh, ah, ha, see you later, suckers! Hey, check it out, Guido, there's a village right there. We'll be safe there for the night. Yeah, but we are being chased by these phantoms. Okay, we just gotta dodge them. Come on, we're getting so close. But that one phantom is really persistent. Here we go. Yes. Oh, oh, that was a close one. And now we can just go to bed, which should reset whatever the heck is going on here with the sky. And everything should be back to normal. Oh, I really deserve this sleep. Wait, dude, what the heck? What is that? Oh my gosh. The door was like opening and closing by itself. You look outside. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is... This is disgusting. There's just blood sprayed all over the walls. And those must be the villagers. It wasn't like that before. No, it was not, Guido. Hey, hold on a second. There's a chest right here full of, oh my gosh, organs or something. We've got a putrid brain, some tendons, cerebellum. Don't know what that is. Putrid flesh, intestines, feet. There's feet in here. Okay, yeah, something went seriously wrong when we went to sleep. Let's never go to sleep again. I agree. The thing I don't understand is that we've seen villagers today, but it seems like they've all gone missing. So it's up to us to help them return. Wait, what? Are you, are you seeing that, Guido? It must be the first that's been watching us. Yeah, the one that killed Austin. I guess it doesn't want us to continue on our journey. But you know what? I'm an adventurer. Helping people is what I do. And no invisible force is going to stop me from doing that. Hey, what is this? I've never seen something like this in a village before. It looks like some kind of graveyard. This wasn't here the night before, Steve. The villagers must be in the grave. You're right. If I can dig them up, maybe I can save them. Uh, Steve, that's a little strange. Yeah, I know, but so far we're not really getting any results. Not seeing any villagers anywhere. It doesn't matter how many of these graves I'm digging up, there are just no villagers anywhere. Maybe they were never here. No, this graveyard's got to be here for a reason. Oh, 
looks like we must be on the right path because the force is trying to get us to give up. But I think I've spotted something here. We've got 12 graves. And if you remember, in that chest, there were 12 organs. So I'll just grab all of them, bring them back to the graveyard, and place one organ in each of the graves. Oh, look, Guido. The voice is reacting. That must mean we're on the right path. It does seem to be laughing at us. Yeah, uh, okay, just don't worry about that right now. Put the feet in there, the intestines in here, the eye in here, and finally, the putrid brain! <gasps> oh, looks like somewhere along the way we went wrong. But how? I mean, it's no coincidence that there's the exact amount of organs to the exact amount of graves. I... Wait, for a body to exist, there isn't just organs. There's also blood. Wait, what are you thinking? I'm thinking, Guido, that if we go over to the coast and jump into the river of blood... Ew. Then we can take a trail of blood and bring it back over to the graveyard. Oh, and it looks like the voice is reacting, Guido. I can't believe it. We might have figured it out. Oh, don't do this. Well, you should have thought about that before you slaughtered this entire village. Come on, we're almost there. And here we... Go! It's working! The graves are filling with blood! <gasps> Guido, look! The villagers, they're, they're ascending! They're finally free! We didn't bring them back, but at least they're finally at peace. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever you say. Those villagers deserve to be freed. And besides, you've taken everything from this world, so what more could you take? Guido? What? He was, he was literally just right there! Guido, where are you? Uh, okay, I changed my mind. You can have the villagers back. I'll take all this blood away. Please, respond to me. Bring me Guido back. Oh, no. No, 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 no. What have I done? What have I done? I I'll do whatever you want. I'll, I'll damage myself more. Yeah, that'll get Guido back. Like, how about this? I'll take some fall damage. <laughs> whoa, what is the multiverse? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what the heck just happened? I got, like, teleported to another world. So I guess now when I take damage, I'll be taking somewhere to do with that form of damage. Well, a dropper is perfect. I mean, if I want to keep damaging myself, then this is the best way to do so. So let's just do this again. Take me back to the dropper. Wait, I, I didn't take fall damage? Oh! <gasps> Maybe I can only do each form of damage once. There's got to be some other way I can... Oh, there we go, a spider. Come on, little dude. I just need one bite. Here we go. Oof. <sighs> Wait, cobwebs? Yeah, that can only mean one thing. <laughs> spider! <laughs> oh my gosh, there's little spiders too. Get away from me. I've got to get back to the village. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Well, looks like I'm not taking damage from hostile mobs anymore. And what the heck are these things? Blood eyes. Seems like every time I survive an encounter, I get another one of these. Interesting. Okay, need to find another form of damage. What about drowning? Okay, here goes nothing! <gasps> So last time I had to escape from a giant spider, what in the multiverse do I need to do now? <gasps> Dude, is that a shark? It's so bloody and gross, and it's attacking the ship! It's gonna keep destroying parts of the ship! I need to defend myself! I do have a bow. Okay, take out this giant man-eating shark with a tiny bow. This should be easy. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Come on, come on, come on. No! No! Aim and fire. Okay, at least I know he can be damaged. But I might have just made him even more mad. <gasps> oh, whoa! Ah, this really isn't good. I'm running out of space. I need to make these shots count. Uh, ah, ah. <sighs> this is all that's remaining of the ship! Come on, come on, come on! Yes! But I'm still not back with Guido! I need to damage myself even more! Oof! Huh! <sighs> <Ow! 
three. Okay, now I've just got half a heart left. But I've been attacked by mobs, I've been drowning, I've been burning. I can't really think of any other ways to damage myself. Unless I've still got my bow. Oh, I really hope this works. Don't worry, Guido, I'm coming! <laughs> I'm on my way, Guido! That's my body, but it's just dying infinitely. Hey, hey, let's stop this. I, I, oh my gosh. No, this is actually kind of creepy. And hold on. I, I'm a ghost as well. I've been totally disconnected from my body and look, I can fly. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Wait. Oh, I can phase through the world itself as well. This is it. It's got to be. I've got to be getting closer to rescuing Guido. Just got to figure out what to do next. And I'm guessing it's something to do with all of those blood eyes. Wait, this is insane. I could actually phase into the ground as well. There's got to be somewhere I can use these eyes. Maybe these zombies will know. Oh, because I'm a ghost, they can't even see me. To be honest, I don't really want to ask for advice from someone who looks like this. Uh, wait, what is that? It's like... It's like a portal frame in the shape of... In the shape of a cross. Okay, this is definitely not normal. But it looks like there's eight empty slots and... I've got eight blood eyes. Which means... If I place a blood eye in each of these missing spots... <gasps> oh, it worked! This isn't like any other portal I've ever seen before! Okay, Guido, I know you're in there! I'm on my way, dude! <sighs> Wait, wh where am I? Is this the end? Why does it look so weird? What the heck is going on? And oh, I've got my own body back! Okay, can't worry about that right now. Guido! Guido, where are you? <laughs> Welcome to my domain, brother. What in the multiverse is that? It's me, Steve. The one that has been following your every move since the start. The damage that you have been dealing to yourself has helped you rise with power. There can only be one Steve left in the multiverse. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is even going on? Where's Guido? Okay, I can't worry right now. I've been through a lot today and nothing's gonna scare me anymore. Just like the shark, I've got to use my bow. Make sure my aim is true and we should be able to get rid of this other Steve. Hey! Wait, where the heck did he go? Did you miss me? Uh, no! Uh. Uh, wait, what's that noise? Guido, is that you? Wait. Oh, the crystal! It's targeting the other Steve. Oh, and that's it. Whenever the Ender Dragon flies past one of these crystals, it gets healed up. And if this guy gets his power from damage, that's exactly what he doesn't want. Okay, I just gotta bring him to the other ones. That's it. Come on, follow me. What is this? What's the matter? I thought you were strong. Just a few more crystals to go. I hope it hurts, because you've been doing nothing but hurting us today. Remember Austin? No! Stop! <sighs> Is everything back to normal? Guido, are you here? Uh, hey, Steve. Guido! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my gosh, that was a crazy adventure. But... It might not be over just yet. And there's only one way to find out. Here goes nothing. <sighs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, we're finally safe! Come on, let's get the heck out of here. I've had too many scares for one day. 